Um, Kathy, if you are experiencing pain in the physical body as a result of absorbing the energy or the intention or the actions of somebody else that are presenting in your instrument as some sort of chaos and throwing you out of alignment, the quickest way to sever that connection is to jump into water. Water is full. It is teeming with earth energy. Earth energy is about as close to the signal or the frequency of source energy as you're going to get, right up there with the archangels, super powerful. And water is an easy way to just immerse ourselves very quickly in high vibration earth energy. This immediately cuts all electromagnetic connections to anything which has attached itself to us. It would be awesome if, while you're under the water and it's pouring over you and it's cutting all of these electromagnetic ties, you said something like the Lord's Prayer or conducted some form of ho'oponopono for yourself, which is where you cut, you cut ties, you're severing ties that do not serve you, and you're also gritting yourself sufficiently so that when the water turns off, they don't just reattach again, which is sometimes what happens, right? Especially if we've got some people who are activated or fixated on us, they reattach all the time. So we have to be, we have to be gritting ourselves. We have to be taking care of those connections. But water immediately cuts them off. So if, if I were you, and I was wondering if this pain in my body was actually communicating from someone else and landing where I live, I would, jump in a, I would jump in the shower, and then I'd see if it'd go away. I'd see if it would go away. I would also, in the shower, try to get into a space of receptivity to the best of your ability. Meditative would be great. I don't know if you can do that in a shower, but, and then go to that area in your imaginal mind. The imaginal mind is the third eye mind, and I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but at night, if you shut your eyes, you can see the inside of your body. How many of you guys can do that? I can see my heart. Shut my eyes. It doesn't have to be at night, but it's when I'm relaxed and like about to fall asleep. I can travel through my whole body. I can see what my knee looks like from the inside out. I can see my heart. And in my imagination, I can scan my body. And I've, I've actually learned over time to do this with physical people. I can scan their body and I can see where something is and what it looks like energetically. But we can all, we all came into the world with a facility to do that with ourselves. We all have inner vision. So if you could be in the shower, and with your inner vision, go to your pain, go to the area of your pain, if it's your hip, wherever it is. That's my brother, sorry. And then check it out and try to feel it and understand for yourself whether this is something that belongs to you or whether you can, with your inner vision and with your consciousness, which is checking it out, that's the function that's actually looking at this area, if you can, pulse it out, pulse it out. If it's something that somebody put into you through a cord, and now you've cut the cord, but it's still inside of you, you can pulse it out. To pulse something out, we fill ourselves with light. We get real bright, and then we pulse, pulse, pulse. It goes through the physical body, all the energies, mind, body, spirit, but it goes through the grid, through the aura, through the entire sphere in which most of us walk around the planet in, pulse, and all these weird, dissonant, patterns, all of these weird entities that some of us pick up, all of these patches, these holes, get filled with light and repaired. I pulse, sounds like a kegel, doesn't it? <laughs> I pulse every day. I try to pulse every day, just getting stuff out of my field because I'm moving around the planet. Just sit there and pulse the light. Now, how do you fill with light? Well, that's a good question. You find what fills you with joy? Joy is love. Love is light. These are all interchangeable words for the very same thing. If I were in the shower and I had located a dissonant area and I realized, well, that's, I'm going to try and pulse that out and see if it goes away. It's not mine. Then I would think of something that brought me great joy. Like the day I, I met my daughter, my baby girl. A huge joy. There have been peak experiences I've also had in my life where I felt connected on every level with everything and it was blissful and beautiful. I go there. I don't just think about it and see the picture of it in my mind. I go back in time into the memory of it and I, I, I'm in the energy of that. That love, that light fills me. I allow that to grow in my body. I, I actually begin to vibrate with that. The memory of my daughter and how I held her and how she shook her little hands and how I kissed her and everything that was going on. I take myself right back in there. I time travel 
quite literally, back to the moment because it's still existing, you know? It's still existing. It didn't just stop when we left that moment in time. Time is not real. That's still animated and has life. I go back into it like a time traveler. I get all in the energy of it and I pulse love. And I pulse it and I would pulse it right in the area of my injury or my pain or this aberrant anomalous sensation that you have and clear it that way and see it go. Visualize it. You can visualize it however you want. However it appears to you as you're checking it out with your consciousness is how you should work with it when you're pulsing it out. But you might see uh, sediment or fragments or, or sparkles of light begin to leave you as you start clearing it out. It's a powerful, powerful technique and it works. And depending on your level of empathy and how in control you are of that, and that's a whole deal, you should talk to Trisha Carr about that. She's got a ministry for highly sensitive people, and she might be able to help you with that. But depending on your ability to release it and then keep it gone, you'll be free of it. But it's when they start to reattach and you start to take it in. Just make a discipline out of that like I do. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Hey everybody, I just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. If you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe, go to thelightworkerslab.com. Check us out, learn what we're about, and learn how you can join. Or just go to Facebook and search The Lightworkers Lab and ask to join. I also wanted to mention that every couple of months I offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class. And if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level, go to crystallinecompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes. Check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined. And to everybody, I just want to say that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. God bless.